One of the cool perks of having a channel like this is from time to time, I'll get to try out a product from a company that otherwise I may have never given a second look to. And that's exactly what we have here today. We have from Mayano, their new DJM 20S series gaming slash streaming boom and mic arm combo. So what exactly makes a microphone gaming? Well, same thing as your cup of noodles, guys, RGB. By the way, that is an actual product. Nissan is coming out with gamer-oriented ramen noodles in a cup with caffeine. I, it sounds terrible to me, but I, I gotta know. Leave a comment, let me know. Are you planning to try these? I've seen them everywhere. They're blowing up online and it just blows my mind that this is even a thing. But back to our star of the show today, the DGM 20S from Mayano. Uh, Mayano might not be a company you've heard a lot about, but they are more than just a cool sounding name, which I am told means vision in Swahili, which makes me ask, was Kusakia taken? And before you ask, yeah, I absolutely Googled how to say hearing in Swahili just to make that dad joke. All joking aside, um, this mic is actually pretty loaded down with a solid feature set for the price point coming in at only $40 on Amazon. And while I get this thing unboxed, I will let other me take you guys through all of Miano's marketing materials and tell you the things that they want you to know about it. Then we'll circle back and I'll give you our thoughts after using it for a couple of weeks. The Mayano DGM 20S gaming microphone comes packed with a host of key features, including one touch noise cancellation, as well as easy on off tap to mute. It also features a host of RGB functionality, including static color lighting, dynamic color lighting, as well as multicolored breathing. It also features the ability to completely turn off RGB lighting for a stealth mode, dynamic onboard mic gain control, and easy zero latency monitoring, making those all night gaming and streaming sessions an absolute breeze. Okay, so I wanna be clear about one thing up front. Without a multi-thousand dollar acoustically neutral test room, I can't really give you more than just my anecdotal experience from using the mic, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So. I hooked this up, replaced my current daily driver and used this thing for about a week through a few gaming sessions and a couple of live streams. And my overall impression is for the price, it's, it's not bad. It's not amazing, but it's really not a bad mic. The boom arm it comes with is okay. I mean, it's nothing more than just a basic boom arm, something that you could get on Amazon for $15, $20, but the fact that it's included is nice. I, I did use it, it works really well. I, I used it on my desk, replaced my actual much more expensive one with this and didn't have any problems that I complain about. I'm gonna take the included pop filter off just so you guys can get a little bit of a better view. Whew, snapped on there, good. You can see the RGB, which is what makes it a gamer mic. One thing you do notice immediately when you unbox it is the weight. So the mic is very, very lightweight, which usually doesn't bode well. Though I did find the tone to be a lot warmer than what I was expecting. Honestly, given the weight and the price point, I really thought it was gonna come out sounding kind of tinny, nasally, um, especially for me, you guys have watched my videos before, I kind of have a high pitched nasally voice. Um, I didn't find any of that at all. The, the tone was warm, it was pleasant. Uh, there's a few things I really like that are more convenience features, adding the controls to the mic itself. So on the mic, you have your RGB controls. You also have noise canceling to enable it and turn it off and gain control on the bottom. So that can make on the fly adjustments much, much simpler than if you're using something like my typical daily driver, which is an AKG where I have to make all those switches in my DAR. This was easy. I found myself, if I was sounding loud or clipping, 
able to kind of turn it up or down as I need it. Now, one area of concern for me is the noise canceling. While effective, it does a great job at blocking out background noise. Sometimes it does too good of a job. So I did find myself clipping from time to time, hitting like a heart limiter or cutting out. All I can say is that it, the mic was probably interpreting, I don't know if it was reflections in my voice coming off the monitor or what, but it was reading that as noise or interference and it was hard cutting out. I, I actually had better success turning the noise canceling off and using my built-in noise cancellation through my DAR that I use when I'm live streaming. But all in all, whenever you look at the price point and the feature set and compare it to its performance, I'd have to say it was solid. I mean, it was more than solid. It was serviceable and something that could be used as a daily driver if you're on a budget. At $40, I mean, the price point is right, especially if you're just looking to gamify your streaming setup or maybe replace the built-in mic on your headset. This is definitely something you might wanna look into considering. As long as you're coming into this with proper expectations. Look, if you are expecting this to perform on par with mics that cost four or five times as much from brands like AKG, you're probably gonna be disappointed. But like I said, if you're just trying to replace, say, the built-in mic on your gaming headset, this thing is definitely worth giving a shot. But don't just take my word for it. Go ahead and scroll back to the voiceover part of this video where I covered the features of the mic. It's okay, I know you skipped it. I'll wait. I recorded half of that with this mic and half of it with my $200 daily driver that I use every day. And no, I'm not gonna tell you which is which because honestly, if you can't tell, does it even matter? But seriously though, I'll tell you, post your guess down in the comments and I'll let you know whether or not you're right or wrong. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, don't forget to check out one of these. Make sure you like, subscribe, check out some of our other content. And as always, thanks for watching.